And welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm happy to be bringing you guys my third installment in my Daisy Dream series. And it is Daisy Dream Blush by Marc Jacobs. So this perfume launched this year, 2016, as the third installment in the Daisy Dream series and the second spinoff to the original. So this one actually got launched with this year's additions to the Daisy and Daisy Oh So Fresh lineup. Um, which I have the... Daisy Sunshine and the Daisy Oh So Fresh Sunshine um, from a couple years ago, but they did make these two um, in Daisy in Daisy uh, Blush and Daisy Oh So Fresh Blush, um, with the third one being Daisy Dream Blush. So they all three got launched at the same time, and they all three kind of had the similar blush pink aspect to them. So Daisy Dream Blush the box looks like this looks exactly like the Daisy Forever box. So it says, it just says Marc Jacobs, um, Daisy Dream Marc Jacobs Blush, New Fragrance, Eau de Toilette Spray, 50 milliliter, and it's got this, like, holographic pink, um, Daisy Dream logo, you know, font stuff all the way around with the blush pink background. And then on the back, it does actually say limited edition, which I thought was super cool, um, that it's not listed up front, and it just says new fragrance up front. I thought that was kind of different and unique. So, the bottle looks like this this time, and is just like the Daisy bottle, or the Oh So Fresh bottle, in the fact that we have, like, the pink liquid, for, like, I know this was pink fluid, but this is pink liquid, and then the same pink on the here. The only difference is they did incorporate the yellow gold, um, flower centers from the original Daisy Dream. Um, and then the front here says Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream and it actually says blush. This one did not say forever on it. So that was kind of the difference. So this one does say Daisy Dream blush. Sorry about that. My camera overheated. So weird. It never actually does that. Anyway, so the notes for this one, you got top notes of violet leaves, water lily, and bergamot. Middle notes are rose, lily of the valley, and freesia with base notes of vetiver and clean musk. So, I have a love-hate relationship with this fragrance, and the fact that I do not like the opening of this fragrance at all, and that is simply because that rose comes out very strong in the very beginning, and also that violet leaf and a couple of the other notes that are in there, just I'm not a huge fan of it in the very, very beginning. Because it is a very kind of a floral smack when you first, first, first spray this fragrance. Um... I will say, though, as it starts to dry down, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's the water lily or what exactly is coming out, but there is something changing, and I almost want to say it's the violet leaf, and it's becoming more of a violet than a violet leaf, because it does have a very rosy green opening. Um, but as it starts to get down the heart and the dry down, I do really like this one. It still doesn't beat out the um, Daisy Dream Forever. This is my favorite one of the Daisy Dreams. But I do really, really like this one. I definitely think this is more of a springtime, like beginning of springtime interpretation. Fragrance I could co like most closely represent this to would be um, Spring Rain by Katy Perry, but it's not the same at all. Like, they're not exactly the same. Like, they have a similarity, but they're not exactly the same. Um, there's more of a green rosiness to this fragrance than that's in Spring Rain. But that dry down is kind of similar to what is in the spring rain. Last thing, I'm only getting about four to five hours out of this, which is, you know, less than the original and even farther less than the Daisy Dream Forever. But it is in the toilet, and they are using some notes in there that aren't quite as, like, what I call the sticky notes. They don't really stay and stay stuck to the fragrance. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Daisy Dream Forever, or Daisy Dream Blush. I can't speak today. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and bye bye.